We want to give a shout out to Cambry S. Thanks for the request and just craft it. Start by protecting your surface with parchment paper. Then take your craft dowels, lay them out on top of the parchment paper in the shape of a crutch. You can find the list of measurements on our blog at AmericanGirlIdeas.com or you can just follow along. You can cut these dowels using an X-Acto knife and then just sanding down the rough edges. The bottom piece is four inches, so this dowel is four inches, and then the two side pieces are an inch and a half. These two longer side pieces are seven inches. Just kind of place them where you think they need to be. And then these two angle supports are two inches. There are two dowels for the arm support, one three inches, one four inches, and then three inches for the hand support. You're gonna start by gluing together the bottom. So these two inch and a half pieces, you're gonna glue to the middle. It's easiest to glue these together laying flat on a surface. That's why it's best to do it on top of parchment paper. The top arm support you wanna put to the side for later, also with the hand support. Now you just want to glue the top. So the bottom of the top arm support is going to be right at the top of the two longer dowels, just like this. Now lay out the two angle supports at an angle. You want to put it like this where there's a gap in between and you're going to fill that gap with hot glue. So lay it exactly where you want it to be on top of the parchment paper. Make sure the top is where you want it to be also. And then fill in the little gaps with hot glue. Let it kind of drip down into the gaps. And this will give it a strong bond for all the angles that are open. Now, once it's completely dry, you want to flip it over and fill in the gaps on the back side. Again, just let it drip into the gaps. And you can even heat up any places that you need to shape with the hot glue gun. Next, you can glue your hand support into place. And once everything's dry, you can paint your crutches any color you want. For the top arm support, you want to cover it in craft foam before you glue it onto the crutch. If you don't have craft foam, you can also use fabric or felt. You can even cover the two sides with circle pieces. It gives it a finished look, and it's nice and soft for your doll. For the feet of your crutches, use a miniature cork and then scrape out the inside of the cork. You can use a clay tool or anything that can dig out a hole right in the middle of your cork. Then fill it with hot glue and push your crutch right into the center. You can also glue on the top of your arm support. Make sure you put the hot glue on the seam on the bottom so that doesn't show. Stick it right on. And then for added detail, you can use beads or you can use brads and just cut off the prongs and these look more realistic on your crutches. Now your American Girl doll crutches are complete. You can angle your doll so she's wobbling and she's not putting support on her bad foot. Place them right underneath her arms and her hands can be on the hand support. These are perfect for your doll hospital. And don't forget to make the DIY cast that we did in a previous video. Leave us a comment and tell us why your doll needs crutches.